Yo, yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy, All Seeing Iris Visuals, back with another tutorial. I want to show y'all how to do glow lines within Premiere Pro without Adobe After Effects. Now, before we get in this video, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure y'all like, comment, and share at the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. And it's just so y'all don't miss any upcoming videos, go ahead and click on that bell notification so y'all stay updated on any latest videos, uh, tutorials, and product reviews I got. So let's get into it. So what you will need for this tutorial, you will need a plugin called Universe. Uh, it's by a company called Red Giant. Uh, I will have the plugin in the description below. So let's get started. Now, I know uh, y'all to see these plugins, or oh, well, rather these effects in various uh, music videos. Um, you stay seeing them. If you ever see a young boy video, he stay hiding them in his video. Uh, Duke dudes, a whole lot of guys. How many videos? They Migos had them in a couple of day videos, and I'm mistaken. So, going to show y'all how to do this. This tutorial is fairly easy. Um, only you will need is the plugin. But like I said, I will have that link in the description below. So, what we're going to do? We already got our session pulled up. Um, we got our main footage over here, and we got the footage we want to transition transition over to with the effect so what we're going to do is with this footage down here we're going to click in the middle you're going to go over three frames one two three you can do that with the arrow key on the keyboard you click that when you hold it with the, the left button on your mouse you hold alt and you drag it up now boom once you drag that up you want to go ahead and right click on the one you just dragged up and add frame hold now we're gonna be using this actual frame as our, uh, for the actual effect. So boom. So you see that, no matter how I scrub through it, it's not moving. Um, Cause we put the freeze frame effect on it. So, well, the frame hold effect actually. So what we wanna do now is go ahead and mask our image. So to do this easier way, if you're trying to get it like on point, in this instance we got it on 75 so that way we can just move it over as we go along bam so with that you'll go to effect controls you'll go to your opacity panel and you'll click on the pen free draw bezier so boom once we do that we go ahead and just start doing our mask now for tutorial purpose so this won't be all there but go ahead fast forward this part um i'll come back when i'm done All right, now we went ahead and did that. Um, let's see, go ahead and put this back to fit. Now with this, this is how it's gonna look once the, uh, once we do to go ahead and transition from this actual performance clip to the next clip with this in. Now, if you wanna adjust, let's widen the back up. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust, adjust a few things. I want this to look as good as possible of course All right, so boom. 
So now what we want to do, just so this effect can, you know, go as smooth as possible, you're going to go ahead and right click on the clip we put the frame hole when we did the mask on. You're going to go up, you go to nest, nest sequence, we can name this. Low effect. Bam. Okay, now we got that. We already got a plugin pulled up right here to easily search through your plugins. Uh, just type in the box up here. The name of the plugin is Ecto. So once you got that, it will be in your RG Universe style. So go ahead and drag and drop that on that wait a few seconds BAM there it is BAM you scroll down on your effects controls and make sure when you and your effects controls you on the uh, frame hole clip we did the mask on make sure you on it so from here you can set your glow, intensity, distortion, size, your color preset. Uh, right here, you can change your inner, let's see, your inner and outer color. We change our outer color to, bam. Show y'all how that look. Bam. Now this plugin does take take some processing power, so I just uh, you have a fairly fast PC um, with at least at least 16 gigs of RAM. Like I'm running 32, and I'm running a, a quad core i7. So let's see, we got that. Oh, let me go back. Bam. So we got that, and we scroll through it. Matter of fact, we where right here was red. We can go ahead and side in now. Points where it's red, we can go ahead and render that. That when you play it back, it'll play it back more smoother. Bam. So now, once we play it back, we scroll up through it. Mm. It's good, but look at that. Good money, good money. Like, don't don't that look good? Like, wouldn't you like that in your videos to make, you know, what I'm saying your project stick out? And I guarantee you, you put these effects in your videos, man. And best believe, people gonna be calling your phone. Cause when you doing stuff like this, people looking like, okay, he know what he doing. Like he he do them effect effects, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't got to be bounded to just people. It can be objects. You can like say if I want to do this door, do the same thing. I do do the same thing I did. Just do the door the same way we did this. You know what I'm saying? Like it, the possibilities with this plugin are endless as far as you look the glow effects or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and that's that's it for real, for real. Uh, there's no more to it. Um, thank y'all for watching the video, man. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. If you did like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead, thumbs down. Um, I'm all seeing hours, and I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial.